So, Gennady Golovkin just said, Canelo, I want my belt. You gave him the last fight, 15 days, they, they didn't come to an agreement. People were frustrated about the Canelo They, they did come to an agreement. agreement. Okay, okay. They, they, okay, okay. Yeah. Articulate that to everybody. Canelo and uh, Golovkin agreed to take one fight. And uh, Golovkin just did his fight. Canelo is doing his fight May 7th. The agreement is after both voluntary defenses, they meet in the mandatory defense. So mandatory meaning next fight? Meaning next fight. And yes. if they don't, if he doesn't communicate in 15 days, he gets stripped? Or how does that work? Articulate oh, oh, that. Yeah, the rules are very clear. What happens, you order a fight, they have 30 days to negotiate. If there is no agreement, you go to a purse bid. If during that period, either side decides not to honor their position, they lose their position. So if Golovkin wants to say, I'm not fighting, he loses the mandatory position and loses the interim championship, so Canelo would be the ultimate champion. If Canelo decides not to fight, then uh, Golovkin is elevated to champion. Okay. And is that is exactly and precisely how the rules are okay. written. And a lot of boxing fans, pure boxing fans, are frustrated at 155. All right, boys. You, you obviously approved the 155. What's the... Uh, no, for the WBC, okay. it's a middleweight division. Uh -huh. The middleweight, middleweight division has a limit which is 160 pounds. But the contract the weight is 155. Yeah. That's a contract between the fighters. If, let's say, Amir Khan weighs 158 for the WBC, for the Nevada Commission, it's a valid middleweight Mark. championship fight. Mark. So if, okay, so let, let, let me understand this. So if Khan comes in at 158, the belt is still on the line, but he voids the contract? I'm asking. I don't know. I don't I don't know the contract. Okay. For the WBC, it's a middleweight championship fight. Okay. Any other contract is a private contract con agreement between the parties. Okay. So we have no uh, intervention for the WBC. Anything underneath 160 is a championship fight. Okay, now I have to ask you this question because I, I get asked this when I write my article. Are you protecting Canelo? Well, you tell me. I have, I have to ask you the question. Yep, next time. Do I think the WBC is protecting Canelo? No. Canelo, I just need to say it. I just need to say it. Canelo came into the picture when he beat Cotto. So he beat Cotto inside the ring. Canelo met with Triple G. They both reached an agreement which they signed and they registered the WBC that each fighter takes one fight. Triple G just won, Canelo is fighting May 7, and the winners had to fight each other. Would you want that fight in Texas in the, in the, in the baseball stadium or would you want it in Vegas? In the Cowboy Stadium. Cow I'm, a, I'm a Cowboy <laughs> fan. <laughs> I, I, I think uh, it's a fight everybody wants to see. We understand there are processes to make uh, the best for the fighters, the fans want to see that fight, and uh, we just go by what the rules uh, call, and it's very clear, it's very open. It has been open for three years. The middleweight division has been constantly changing since Martinez, Cotto, Rubio, Golovkin, now Canelo. So with that was a tough question. No, no, I, I, but, but I got. I have to be respectful to you. You and Thank your dad. I have I to be respectful. I appreciate. I, it. You. I can't just be disrespectful. Okay. I appreciate. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, absolutely. It so <laughs> if, if uh, Canelo Alvarez is able to get past Amir Khan May seventh, how long does he have? When does the timer start? And how long does he have to negotiate with Golovkin, who just won the, tonight? The free negotiation period begins on Monday night. Okay. So, so you send the letter. You have one month to do a negotiation. If not, it goes to a purse bid. In the meantime, they they have all the time to. Okay, so just look.